The body that controls British boxing has condemned a proposed fight between Londoners David Hay and Derek Chisora due to take place this summer. It's threatened to remove the licence of anyone involved in the fight, which is scheduled to take place at West Ham Stadium. With me now is boxing expert and BBC London 94.9 sports presenter Steve Bunce. Uh, welcome to you. First of all, how have we got to all this? Well, we got to this because one night back in February, we were all in Munich. Well, I was in Munich, and so was David Hay, who was working alongside me, and so unfortunately was Derek Delboy Chisora, who'd been in the ring with Vitaly Klitschko. The fight was fantastic. Hay did a great job as a pundit. And then we all went upstairs to a fantastic press conference. We were having a few light refreshments and a few light snacks, and suddenly the insults started being thrown around and it led to the most ugly and most violent post-fight scenes I've ever witnessed in about 30 years at ringside. And uh, we, I think we have pictures uh, of that, but they do have flash photography, so just to warn viewers that we are going to play those now. What, what happened on, on the night itself is quite interesting, in that Derek Delboy Chisora, he never threw a punch. David Hay threw a, a, a left elbow, which is a mixed martial arts move, and a right hand, and then they scuffled. Someone got hit on the head with a tripod, which David, hit, David Hay was throwing around. That guy you can see there in the red fighting, that's actually Derek Delboy Chisora's coach. It only lasted about 20 seconds, and as I say, there was lots of flash photography, as you'd expect this type of, that, that time of night. It may have only lasted a short time, but the repercussions were incredibly serious. So coming back to this proposed fight, how are they able to fight each other without a boxing licence? It's quite simple. The British Boxing Board of Control, who have run boxing in this country since 1929, they left a little, a little hole for, for, for Derek Chisora to jump through when he appeared in front of them in March. Instead of banning him, which would have meant that nowhere in the world could Derek Chisora have boxed for either six months or a year, depending on how long the ban was, they only suspended his licence and then they acknowledged in their own statement that he was free to apply for a license to box in another jurisdiction and that's exactly what he's done. And so apart from Hay and Chisora, very briefly, how much is at stake for other people around them? At the moment we're told by the Border Control anybody with a Border Control license, and that could be hundreds of people who are involved with the show, will lose their Border Control license. This fight has still got some legs yet. Okay, Steve Bunce, thank you.